Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Ask the Expert continues with Brenda Hollingsworth from OJ Hollingsworth. We're talking personal injury today. 789-6559, extension 2803 is the number to call. You can always send us a message as well on Facebook, on Twitter, or through our email. And so heading into the break, Brenda, we were talking about what then happens if you are into an incident. Similar to what you would do if you were in a car accident as well? It is, but there are some things that are a little bit counterintuitive. So if you're hurt on your bike or your child is hurt on his or her bike, you call your own car insurance. Even though your car is parked in the driveway or, you know, off at work or somewhere unrelated to the accident, you call your own car insurance. A lot of people don't know that. And because in a bike accident situation, often there's not damage to the vehicle that hits you. So... Uh, nobody ever contacts you. So if you don't take the initiative to call your own car insurance, nothing will happen. Okay, very so, interesting. Yeah, it's different, and people don't expect that. And so we'll get people sort of six, seven, eight months after an accident. How come nothing happened? Well, that's because no one knows about it, you know? The, so, the driver had no damage on their right. vehicle. so they don't think to report it. Mm -hmm. They should, but they don't think to. Unless there's injury. If, if a driver knows that they have caused injury to a cyclist, it would they... There will be reports, I guess there would be a police report in there for the paperwork would get started. Right, but even the police don't send anything to the insurance, right? So uh, uh, you should, if you hurt someone, you should report it to your own car insurance. But people don't, people think, da no damage to my property, why would I contact my insurance company? Uh, they should, but they don't necessarily do that. Well, and they should because there could be, in time, something has happened with the cyclist That's and therefore right. they're coming be coming back exactly and another thing that happens and we know this from car accidents and everything else at the scene it may not seem like a big deal because a lot of times injury sort of sets in sort of 24 hours later or 12 hours later so then people have dispersed so that's uh you know that's an issue too that they, it, they may genuinely not know that it's a big deal uh there are people asking questions and so i do want to get to a caller that we have i do believe christine is on the phone this morning good morning christine good morning what's your question for brenda my question uh, for Brenda is, um, I do have a lawyer representing me. Um, I was uh, actually struck by um, a vehicle that ran the red light as I was walking across the road. So I was a pedestrian. I was not in the vehicle. Um, I did sustain some injury. Um, but I was. my question is, is, how long does the process take? Yeah, that, that's a good question. I get asked that question all the time. Now, you should be asking your questions of your lawyer, right? It's really important that you have a good relationship with your lawyer and that you ask him or her the questions. But just generally, people ask that all the time. Um, a lot of times, cases are delayed because we need to know what uh, the injury actually is. And you have to reach more or less maximum medical recovery before we can talk about settlement. Uh, because the insurance company is always going to assume that you're going to get better. And um, you don't want your compensation based on you being better. You want it based on what actually happens. So that's often a big delay that clients get frustrated about. But it's your body. It's not our fault. After that, it um, takes time to gather the medical records, uh, liability information. In your case sounds pretty good, but, you know, we have to gather witnesses, that kind of thing. And then um, it really depends on whether or not the insurance company is willing to negotiate without a lawsuit. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they aren't. Pedestrian cases, they often are. So is that happening? Uh, that process can be a couple of months. If a uh, settlement doesn't happen and a lawsuit has to be started, then you're into sort of 18 months, two years, two and a half years. And if it goes to trial, it could be longer. So it's not a quick process. I think that's the that's the reality that a lot of people have to that's realize right. very early on is that, uh, A, when you're talking about injuries and how you haven't quite figured out how serious the injuries are until some time has passed. Right. And then there's a long process. Yeah, and so you really have to be able to put it in the back of your mind. You can't be dealing with the lawsuit the whole time. Uh, you have to sort of, when it's relevant, when the lawyer calls you, when there's an event, you think about the lawsuit and then you forget about the lawsuit and work on rehab and living your life. Uh, because if you let it consume you, it will seem very long. Okay, great information. We do have to take a break. We're going to be back with another segment, so please get your calls in. 789-6559, uh, extension 2803. Email, Facebook, Twitter. Brenda's here to take your questions. We're back after this.